Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma, a homeschooling mum of three in the UK. And today's video was supposed to be my 10 top homeschooling tips. But we have had a pretty horrific week here in the Adventure household. Um, on Thursday, one of our beloved horses passed away. Um, we were all absolutely gutted. Unfortunately, we did know it was coming. We just didn't think it was coming quite so fast as it did. Um, he was quite unwell. Um, he had something called wobbler syndrome. So if you know horses, you know that that was quite, it's quite a serious and debilitating condition. Um, and he really, really was, was ready to go, bless his heart. So we're, uh, I can now talk about it without crying, which is why I'm now filming, I'm not filming, I'm filming this on the day I released it on Monday. So, um, yeah, it's been a pretty hard week. The kids are really struggling and anyone who has autistic children knows that when there's any kind of disequilibrium in the household, behaviour just goes absolutely bonkers. I mean, um, obviously I've been very upset and before we told them that he was going to be put to sleep, um, I was obviously sorting everything out um, and was very upset when I kind of knew I really had to make a decision soon. Um, and then the day I made the decision, of course, I was really upset. And then the days, cup, um, you know, going up to the actual day he died, I was really sad and crying a lot. And I had some family bad news on a similar thread on the Monday. Um, not as imminent, but pretty much the same thing. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been a harder week. So I really did not feel like sitting down and talking about home ed tips because yeah I just wasn't it's one of those ones that would have to have been scripted almost so I remembered my talking points and not free flow like this just talking to you like you're sat in my bedroom with me and I just really didn't feel like doing it um however I am gonna um film it in a couple of days when I've kind of you know feel a bit more like myself and then hopefully I'll be able to announce the winner of our giveaway as well I'm kind of going to coincide them it'll probably be Thursday or Friday that that video will go up um so I'm really excited to share that with you and I'm really excited to find out who is going to be the winner of our giveaway 15 pounds or the equivalent of 15 pounds if you're not in the UK of an Amazon gift card so I'm really excited to see who gets that um we do have other news although we lost our beloved Obi and I have included um some footage of him down the bottom here um uh, though we've lost him we do have some exciting news about our horses we do still have one pony left her name is Lola um, and we will be getting another pony to join her as a companion which is very nice um, this is a pony that we've actually cared for before and um, we're really excited to have her back I'm not going to talk loads about it right now because it's not happening yet and I don't want to don't want the kids to hear um because they'll just get super excited um but she will be a lead rein pony and a first ridden pony for the children um I actually backed her when she was younger um not me sitting on her but I I sorted it all out and Charles was the first child to sit on her back when he was very young so um that's all very exciting mixed with sadness obviously um I am starting to feel excited about it now I couldn't think about it really until um, and really until today, like I kept doing some things to plan for it, but I was like, oh, I'm not excited. And then today I was thinking about it and my tummy flipped over and I didn't feel guilty about thinking about a new pony rather than Obi. And yeah, so um, I am feeling better than I did the other day. I know people who know me in real life who have supported me through this really difficult time. I'm really grateful for that. Um, I've been a bit of a mess. <laughs> Sweet heart mess. Um, so yeah, there's not really anything else to report apart from that. One thing I've been asked for loads on the Instagram page and on my Facebook page is for more videos about the horses and I don't really have much of that planned because that's kind of like um, my chill out time, my relaxing time um, and to be honest with the British weather, number one, and number two with the nature of horses, it's really difficult to film safely and well <laughs> with with um with horses around and with three young children who I'm trying to keep safe so there won't be a huge amount of videos about the horses but I will be documenting the new pony arriving um and us going to get her which is very exciting and I will be um 
posting some videos and kind of like um some videos of us taking care of her they will all of, of our pony that we have now at the moment lola um i will also be adding po there will be pony videos however on my kids channel and it's not my kids channel it's my kids channel um, <laughs> so charles bessie and albert who you have seen before they don't feature a lot of my videos because it's more about me and what i have to say but um they have a lot of things to say themselves there's stuff that they want to do so they are starting a new channel i have linked it um they are really really excited it's kind of kicking off next week um we've I've, we've been filming Lego videos and baking videos and um, we've got doll transformations and things like that in the pipeline and I'm really excited to do it with them. Um, Albert's not hugely involved, obviously being only three, but um, Charles is super into it. He's going to be doing some gaming videos um, as well because apparently that's really popular um, for, with kids. So they're really excited to do that and they will be having... Um, pony videos as well um f featuring <laughs> featuring their Shetland pony that will be shared between the three of them and my pony as well um I may stick on some GoPro videos at some point of me riding because then I don't have to worry about doing different things I may have to turn the sound off though because sometimes I do say naughty words when I'm riding <laughs> and call my horse names um so um i am really excited to share those things with you as kind of bonus videos and obviously do them on the other channel so um if you if your children watch youtube it would be really really great if you subscribed and there's a channel trailer on there at the moment i don't know what i'm doing with my hands pew pew um <laughs> um that we made that's really exciting and yeah we're just we're really really stoked about that so if you would like me to add bonus videos of the horses um then leave me a comment add a thumbs up whatever um you know facebook page instagram anything like that and if there's any particular videos homeschooling wise lifestyle wise autism mum wise adhd woman wise like anything like that that you have a question that you want me to answer or just in general, you know, you're kind of like, oh, I wonder what they do about, blah, 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 blah. like, hit me a message, leave me a comment, send me a telegram, whatever, and I will do my very best to fit that in. I have, I do plan out my videos in advance, the kids' videos are planned for a year, um, <laughs> and mine are planned until the end of January, so we do have quite a lot of stuff that we fit in, because I am a planner, and if I don't plan, my ADHD brain, my ADHD brain forgets to video until like this morning, like today, and I'm like, ah, I need to do a video and I need to do it now, and then my editing is poor. So if you've seen a video where the editing, you're like, yeesh, Emma, that is not your usual standard. It's because I've forgotten to film until Monday morning, and then I've gone, oh my gosh. <laughs> so hopefully this one won't be too bad because it's just me sitting on my bed. Blanket. I'll catch you later adventurers and enjoy the video when it comes later in the week and I'm so so excited to announce the winner of the competition and send you your prize so see you later bye